A very disturbing video has been making its rounds on the internet showing a woman on board a cruise ship yelling at cruise ship employees. She seems very upset and believe it or not, the situation has a lot of people divided 50-50. Now personally, I don't believe that crew members should be disrespected or yelled at by anyone regardless of the situation. However, I'm going to show all of you the video clip and then we'll dive into it a little bit deeper and then you can decide for yourself if this woman was right or wrong. So at first glance, without any context whatsoever, it does sound like this woman is being very immature and you're probably asking yourself, why is somebody behaving like that in a public place, let alone a cruise ship where she's supposed to be having the vacation of a lifetime? Is she entitled? Well, according to the comments and based off of what I heard in the video, she was making some type of, or trying to rather, make some type of funeral arrangements. Maybe she had an unfortunate passing in the family and she decided to call down to the customer service desk where, according to her, she was hung up on at least four different times and then eventually offered a courtesy call or help or assistance at the end of the cruise. Let's tackle a couple different points here because there is a lot to cover, especially based off of the comments and things that have people so divided. First of all, I will say that if this is the situation, let's say she unfortunately has had the passing of a family member, it is understandable that she is upset to understand that she's a little unstable because it does happen to all of us. However, I do believe if there was a situation where she needed to make arrangements and call home, whatever she needed to do, there was a better way to go about it. By that, I mean, instead of trying to call down to customer service, and especially if you called four different times and they hung up, maybe they were busy or they didn't understand what is going on at that point in time, you should have physically walked down to the customer service desk in the first place on a serious matter such as that. Looking at the comment section of the video, there are obviously a lot of people that sympathize with this woman. They're saying that instead of judging her and saying that she's being being ghetto or she's being ignorant you have to show a little grace because anybody that has had the passing of a loved one you know exactly how it feels meanwhile there are other people that are just straight up not having it they're saying that she shouldn't be on that cruise and that they should raise the prices of the cruise that way we can get rid of all the riffraff on board cruise ships which i do not think that is the solution that never is the solution However, in all fairness, regardless of what's going on, yelling and screaming just because you are upset is never the way to get things done. We all know that. We could also understand the other side of it where, yeah, if I were in that situation or if any of you fine folk were in that situation, it is very hard to determine exactly how you would feel if you were going through that exact situation. There is also the fact that everyone is pointing out that this is a carnival cruise ship that this is taking place on. Now, at first, it looked like, well, just based off of the silver and the colorings, I thought it was like an MSC ship, but you can see in the video that there is a point that you see a little bit of a red carnival card. The reality is it does not matter. A situation like this could happen virtually on any cruise ship. Now, yes, can we make the argument that a lot of things have happened on carnival cruise ships, just like any ship, but usually things tend to get out more when it's about carnival. Videos seem to go viral a lot more as well. And yeah, depending on the ship, Carnival can usually have a pretty rowdy crowd, but in this particular situation, I do believe that it is completely irrelevant. Another big point of concern that has a lot of people very divided is the fact that a passenger that was there when that situation was going on decided to look at it, hear the context, record it, and then proceed to put it on the internet for people to see for fame or views or praise or what have you. Personally, I'll tell you straight up, as a content creator, I do my best when I'm on board cruise ships because I do record, but I try to be as respectful as possible. However, I do also understand the other side of it, and I'm not saying it's right. This is a new world that we're living in. This is the digital world, and unfortunately, when something does go down, especially on a cruise ship, people see all the viral moments. People are looking at that and saying, hey, you know what? I can't do anything about this situation. It's not my situation. I'm not involved. Let me record in case things escalate or it's to a point where I think it's going to be, let's say, viewed on TikTok, YouTube, or what have you. Once again, to be clear, I do not think it was right that that person decided to record this moment and put it on the internet to see. However, this is, again, a new world that we're living in. And even if, let's say right now, I'm on Norwegian Breakaway. I have videos coming up soon. Check it out on my second channel, Jay the Nomad. Shameless plug here. But if I were to fall down, 
down the stairs right now, or if I had a situation where I had some type of, I don't know, a heart attack, and I was being wheeled out on a stretcher, there was a good chance that somebody would take a picture, somebody would record the situation, even if they weren't recording me directly, they would still talk about it and potentially even post it on social media. Not right, but this is the world that we unfortunately live in. Also, realistically, had the context of the situation been different, nobody would have cared about if somebody recording the situation. They would have praised it. They said, hey, look, it's documentation in case something goes down or that woman ends up having to go to court. Let's say she did something wrong or the cruise line did something wrong, which is rare, but it does happen. It's good to have these type of things documented and it's a powerful tool that we have available. However, naturally with these things, there are a lot of people that can abuse said tool. All of this could have been avoided. Like I said, if that woman, if she had a big enough issue she should have gone straight to customer service herself instead of calling down because yes calling down to customer service and they're dealing with hundreds upon hundreds of calls a day naturally the situations that are going on as far as the severity could potentially be missed anyway that's what i got for this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of course hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already and know as usual i love and appreciate every single one of you i'll see you later take it easy